One of the most common question I get on Instagram is how do I add realistic skies in my blender scenes? And today is a day where I get to show you how and also tell you why you should use the same technique. Obviously, there are a few ways to add skies in Blender, such as the built-in sky texture, which is a pretty simple tool that comes with a few feature, but it doesn't come with any clouds. So it's not an ideal choice for everything. We also have HDRI, which stands for High Dynamic Range Imaging, which is a technique that uses real world panoramic image to provide highly detailed and realistic lighting and also environmental backgrounds for your 3D scene. Then we have add-ons such as the physical light atmosphere. You can pretty much think of this as the upgraded version of sky texture. This tool basically is designed to generate realistic skies and add atmospheric effects in your 3D scenes. It also comes with cloud adjustment, thus adding a high level of realism to your render. But today I'm going to show you one of the best and easiest way to add realistic skies in your scenes, which is using sky JPEGs. But before we dive in, I have an exciting announcement for all of you talented artists out there. I am thrilled to introduce to you the AMD Design Award 2023. This year's theme is designing the energy source of tomorrow. AMD is challenging all of us to imagine a world with alternative energy source and explore how we can contribute to this change. I am lucky to promote such cause and I've been a, an advocate of AMD products for a while and I'm super happy that they reached out to me about this because I literally begun my 3D journey using their processors and I absolutely love their products. There are three categories you can participate in such as transport, city and finally a social poster. So feel free to create an artwork based on one of these categories and don't forget there are awards for the winners. The judging criteria includes composition, color idea, storyline, techniques, and attention to details. As an artist, this is a fantastic opportunity to showcase your skills and a great way to network with other artists, potentially stepping up your business as well. So make sure to visit amdaward.com for more information. And thank you, AMD, for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. All right, let's get to the fun part. To start adding JPEGs to your Blender scenes, all you need is a pack of skies that you like and on that part i've got you covered all you have to do to download the free sky bundle from the link provided in the description you get a bunch of skies that you can actually use but alternatively you can also use your own skies by taking pictures going outside taking pictures of the skies or getting them from free platforms such as unsplash then simply follow these steps all right guys so here we are in blender and this is one of my recent works that i did so as you can see, I've done pretty much everything. My scene is ready to render, but I couldn't resist not to just be bothered by the fact that there is nothing on the sky. Like it feels kind of empty. And usually even if even on a misty day, you usually have some kind of details on, on the sky. So I added one of the sky JPEGs that I have. And uh, this is before and this is after. That's crazy, right? Just one plain image can create such a huge difference in your image and this is an easy way to step up your render game and i'm going to show you how to do it very simple so now let's just for the sake of this video let's just hide this and uh, go to file import and then images as plain if you don't have this option make sure you go to edit preference you go to add-ons and then image import here you should have this one checked import export import images as plain and then once you do that just save your preference so you don't have to do it again and then go to file import images as planes now you should have it and then here i'm going to choose one of those skies as you can see i think i believe i went for 47 um, so i'm just going to go with the same sky again you you have a lot of options here mostly blue hours and golden hours um, pretty pretty sick uh, collection I highly recommend you to check out the sky pack and um here i'm just gonna double click and you should be able to have your plain image here all you have to do is just make it bigger and uh here keep in mind that you won't be able to see anything yet and the reason for that is because here on your shader make sure i just detach from the first image 
here on your shader you just have your color connected to base color which all you have to do is just switch to emission you want this to be treated as an emission and now you can simply add more strength to it now if we just remove the haze here you will see how it looks as you can see this is how it looks and uh, another thing to consider is the the light uh, placement so here I have a Sun and the direction light comes from this side and here you're gonna make sure that your sky light makes sense within the environmental light um, you know what if, if this was just vertically the other way around it would have not made any sense you see it does not make sense now it feels like the light is coming from this side but we have shadows from this side so keep that in mind it is as simple as just importing a plain image and here you can simply play around let's just go back to adding the haze and all i have to do is just add more emission strength to it and it should be good yeah so before and here's after all right guys that's all for today make sure to like and subscribe that would help a lot and if you're interested to learn more about my creative workflow please check out my blender masterclass the link will also be in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one